Doctor, this is Teacher Sam, your teacher for the day. Our objectives for today is state that the third law of motion is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Describe how the action and reaction happens. Identify the importance of Newton's third law of motion through the given activity. Last meeting, you have learned about the Newton's first and second law of motion. So what is the first law of motion? It's very good. It is the law of inertia. How about the second law of motion? Very good. It is the law of acceleration. Now, this is Juanito. Juanito is enjoying biking every morning. While he was enjoying biking, he did not know that there was rock on the street. And eventually, he flipped from his bike. Oh no! What do you think is the energy of the rock possesses? Very good! At rest, it represents the law of inertia. What does the bike and Juanito possess when they flip from the rock? Very good! Good! When Juanito tries to pull the brake, the acceleration begins that causes him to flip from his bike. The law of motion stated here is the law of acceleration. Juanito just showed the first and second law of motion, which is the law of inertia and the law of acceleration. Today, we are going to play a game. This is called Simon Say. Are you familiar with that? Very good! The rules of the games are very simple. What you have to do is demonstrate the movement after you say the word Simon Say. Did you all get it? Very good. Okay, first I want you to be on your seat. Okay, let's start. Simon say, stand up. Simon say, do bodily. Simon say, jump. Very good. Okay, let's repeat it again. Simon say, stand up. Simon say, do bodily. Simon say, jump. Very good, students. What did you observe about the activity? Very good. Now, who among you knows how to swim? Very good, Bonito. Now, what do you usually do when you do swimming? Very good, paddling. Now, if you are in the sea, what usually happens when you do paddling? Very good. While you push the water backward, the water pushes you forward. Also, by standing up and jumping, what is the connection is swimming. Very good. By doing standing and jumping, you exert downward force that will give you upward force in your body. Is that so? What do you like to find out? What happened to an object when it exerts force to another object? I am here short digit with me for you to understand more about Newton's third law of motion. For you to understand how the action and the action happens. The only question you need to ask yourself while studying the third law is what happens when two objects interact with each other? What happens when you place an object on the table? The object exerts a force on the table and the subject exerts an upward force on the object. There are two forces that result from this interaction. A force on the table and a force on the object. The magnitudes of the two forces are the same, but the directions are opposite. These forces are called as action and reaction forces. The force exerted by the object on the table was an action force, and the force exerted by the table on the object is the reaction force. What we saw here is nothing but a display of the Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That's how simple the third law is. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It means that when two objects interact, there is a force on each object. The magnitude of force on the first object equals the magnitude of force on the second one. And what about the direction? The direction of force on the first object is opposite to the direction of force on the second one. Let's talk about more examples. While the frog is swimming, it pushes the water back and the water pushes its body forward. Now let me ask you a question. Say a bird is flying upwards. 
Welcome you to third law of life here. Sometimes the third law is not so obvious. You probably say that the bird is the only object here and there's no second object. But that's not correct. The wings of the bird push the air downwards and the air pushes the bird upwards. Action and reaction forces make it possible for birds to fly. Now who can tell me what happens when two objects interact with each other? It exerts force to another object. Very good. Now where does the direction of an object goes? It goes in an opposite direction of an object. If it goes in an opposite direction, what is exerted in an opposite direction? Force. If force goes from different direction, can you tell me what is the third law of motion? For every action, there is an opposite equal reaction. For me to know if you truly understand what I have discussed, here are some scenarios. One day, one went to the lake to go fishing. While fishing, unexpectedly, create the hole on the boat. That makes his boat sink. Now, one tries to jump up to the water and started to push the water backward with his bare hands. This will help him to move forward toward the shore. Hmm. Do you know why one was able to move forward while pushing the water backward? Very good. Then why? Very good. When we swim, we apply the force and push the water backward with the help of our hands. Now this is the action. In response to this action is, the water pushes us forward with equal force. Now that is the reaction. Very good. I hope you are now ready for our quiz today. All you have to do is to choose the correct answer. Direction. Write the letter of the correct answer in the given space. Choose wisely. Number 1. Which of the following is an example of Newton's third law of motion? A. Using force to push a grocery cart. B. Pulling back a rubber band to shoot it forward. C. A chair remains motionless in a room. D. None of the above. 2. Which of the following best represent law of interaction? A. When paddling a canoe, you push the oar backward and the canoe moves forward. B. A motorcycle requires less force to accelerate than a truck. C. Moving forward when your bicycle suddenly stops moving due to heating a curve. D. All of the above. What does the law of motion state? A. An object at rest will remain at rest and an object in motion will remain in motion until acted upon by an balance force. B. The force of an object is equal to its mass multiplied by itself. C. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. D. All of the above. Why is it important to know the third law of motion for our day-to-day -day lives? A. To know that for every action we are making, there is an equal and opposite reaction. B. To know what is right from wrong. E. To know how does the acceleration happens. D. To know what is left and right. And this picture below is an example of third law of motion. Locate where does the action and reaction happens. A. Action happens when the boy paddles while the reaction is when his body starts to move forward. B. Action happens on the water and the reaction happens on the boat. C. There is no action and reaction that happens. D. The action happens on the boat. Earlier, you have learned that Newton's third law of motion is for every action there is an opposite equal reaction. There was a group of friends named Jose, Pedro, and Joaquin. They love swimming because they live near the lake. They love to swim on the lake every weekend. Then one day, Jose convinced his friends to have swimming competition. The first one to reach the shore will be the winner. Jose paddles slowly because he is just a beginner. But then he remembered what his teacher taught them about Newton's third law of motion. So he decided to make a plan in preparing for the competition. Who do you think will win the competition? If you are Jose, then you are the one who win the competition. What will you do with your prize? That is all for today. Goodbye!